Welcome back, friends. Today, we'll be focusing on the Ultramarine's Assault Intercessors, a key unit in their chapter's tactical strength. Now, for those of you who are new to the lore, the Ultramarines are the embodiment of order, discipline, and the Emperor's will. Known as the spiritual exemplars of the Codex Astartes, they are often seen as a standard by which all other Space Marine chapters are measured. Assault intercessors, though? Well, they take that noble discipline and throw themselves into the thick of battle with chain swords roaring and bolt pistols firing. These guys aren't just soldiers. They're close quarter combat specialists. The kind you call in when you need things handled with brutal efficiency. Their power armor and chain swords make them perfect for storming enemy lines, cutting down heretics, and dealing swift justice. Praise the Emperor for their sheer determination. Today, we'll be giving these ultramarine heroes the look they deserve. Praise the Emperor, and let's get to work. So, I was graciously gifted this sprue from a friend of mine, and he got it from the Imperium Magazine Issue 3. So, before we paint them, of course, let's build the Marines. I'll be working with three Assault Intercessors, and you'll see them come together piece by piece. Snip, snip. Five minutes later. Since these Ultramarines are a little top heavy, they do require a hole in the base for stability. Let's do that now. All right, I want it here. Now, that's not big enough, and it's a perfect circle, so we have to switch out our tool. So, just kind of make it a little bit wider. Try it again. Sometimes you just, oh, look at that! Oh my god! I love it! Yes! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, that's one. Let's do three more. Brother. No brother! Praise the Emperor for efficient construction. With our assault intercessors ready for action, we move on to priming. I'll be using a black primer to give us that solid, dark foundation we need to really make that ultramarine blue pop. Praise the Emperor for the precision we need. Now that we've got our base ready, we're going to start adding some dimension with dry brushing. We'll begin with Vallejo Stonewall Gray. Not this time. We're actually going to be using Ultramarine Blue. A pretty fitting choice for our Ultramarines, don't you think? It's a rich, bold color that really defines these warriors. You might be wondering, Charlotte, why aren't you doing the gray to white highlight like you usually do? I mean, are you okay? Did you hit your head? Are you a Doppler? No. If you know anything about the Ultramarines and Space Marines in general, they're 90% one color with very vast, high contrast details. So why not use that for dry brushing? You know, save the hassle and really make that color pop when you put the speed paint on top of that. Work smarter, not harder for your team and for the Emperor. Ultramarines, the sons of Gilliman. The Ultramarines epitomize what it means to be Adeptus Astartes. They are beacons of nobility, honor, and discipline, in a galaxy riven by darkness and disorder. No chapter holds the Codex Astartes in such hallowed regard as they, and they have utilized its tenets and strategies to achieve glorious victories over 10,000 years. Few, if any, chapters can match the efficiency, speed, and skill with which the Ultramarines apply their deep learning of the Codex's tactics and strategies. On countless battlefields, the Ultramarines have outwitted, outfought, and outmaneuvered their enemies, striking repeatedly with gene wrought might until the foe is utterly vanquished. The Ultramarines live and breathe the Codex Astartes. 
For 10 millennia, have they learned and practiced its teachings, paying close attention to the most minute of details. Many ultramarines can recite swaths of the text by heart, as well as produce lengthy treaties demonstrating a full understanding of its teachings. Assault intercessors are amongst the most widespread close support units in a chapter's arsenal, firing their heavy bolt pistols as they close upon the foe. They charge into the fray, where they make short work of their enemies with brutal swings of their chain swords. To create that bright highlight, we're going to add some dead white to a little bit of the ultramarine blue. It's a great way to bring out those sharp edges and really make that armor pop, simulating light shining directly from above. It's not your typical Zenithal highlighting. We're going full on sunlight here. The Space Marines are the Emperor's will made manifest. They are his angels of death, descending to the battlefield from mighty warships to cleanse the foes of mankind from the face of the galaxy. For 10,000 years, the Space Marine chapters have been humanity's shield and sword in the face of the horrors that beset it. Genetically enhanced super soldiers they are among the greatest warriors to have ever existed. They are stronger, faster, and more resilient than the humans they are sworn to protect. They are psycho-indoctrinated from youth, rendering them immune to fear and staunchly loyal. On the battlefield, they are relentless, determined warriors who will stop at nothing to achieve victories nigh on impossible for augmented soldiery to achieve. In the era Andromedus, the Imperium is assailed as never before from both within and without. The Space Marines hold firm, meeting the onslaught head on with unbreakable faith in their hearts and oath on their lips. They are the champions of humanity and they know no fear. Defeat is only for the enemy. And while one Space Marine stands, hope remains for the Imperium. Whew, painting minis sure can be exhausting. What's that noise? Oh, I guess it's time for a recap. Let's see who sent this one. Tony! Thank you, Tony, for the recap. We'll paint that iconic blue armor with Tidal Wave. Red for the visors, Slaughter Red, favorite. Broadsword Silver for the bolt guns and the chain swords, along with a little bit of polished silver for detail. Glittering Loot for the trim along the shoulder pads. And we're gonna make that white pop with the dead white acrylic from Vallejo game color on that chapter symbol on their shoulder pads. Praise the Emperor for these bold colors. Like I mentioned, we're going to do blue all over him. We're definitely going to, you know, avoid the, the crest on his chest and both the symbols on both shoulder pads for both of them. So what we're doing, we're pretty much doing a batch painting because I have two models here. So I'm going to paint this one all blue while it's drying. And I'm going to paint him all blue. And then when we're done, we can go back to the other one and then we can start on the next color. It's great. That's what I love the most about Slap Chop is you can do a whole army in one day. It's great. I love it. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's get to work. So this is after one coat and I really like it. It's bright enough, but not too vivid. I think it's perfect. I usually would go for a second coat, but I really like how it turned out. The highlights are still there. Yeah, I really like it. So now we're gonna go in and I'm going to color in his little bags in the back there and his bolt pistol bag as well. And then we'll get into the finer details like the weaponry. So I'm going to do dark wood for the 
satchels in his bag. And then grim black for the bolt pistol case. I'm also going to do the bolt pistol black as well. And then I'm going to do bright polished silver for the tips. Same thing for the chainsword. So now I'm going to add some red into their visor. Because we put that blue, it's a little too dark. So I'm going to base it first with a dead white. Water her down so it can pop when I put the red on top. So now that, well, since we got the white, we're waiting for that to dry anyways, let's go ahead and do the shoulder pads. Brother, may I have some oats? No. I am starving, brother. All right, so while that second coat is drying, we're gonna go ahead and put in that slaughter red on their visors, the little goggles. Gotta make them look scary for the enemy, for all those heretics. Last but not least is the gold. And like I said, we're gonna be using glittering loot for that. So that will be for his chest crest the trim on both the shoulder pads and this right here as well. Now time for some detail work. So really just to make the bolt pistol and the chainsaw pop, I think I want to do a little bit of dry brush with the silver not the gunmetal. And after that, in the creases of the armor plates and the weaponry, I'm gonna add a little bit of shade. And there we have it, another Assault Intercessor ready to defend the Imperium. If this video served the Emperor's will, strike that like button with righteous fury, rally more warriors by subscribing, and log your painting victories in the comments below. For honor, for duty, 